Hello and welcome once again to our video version of Church Today. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Chaplain Elisa and I will be leading our worship and fellowship time together. As I love to say, as you know, even though we're not together physically, the Spirit of God binds our hearts and our minds and our souls together. So again, welcome in the name of the Lord. Today, our theme is courage. Courage. That's a good one. I'm wondering how you would describe courage. We'll be talking a little bit more about it throughout the service. But it's interesting that the Catholic Catechism lists courage as one of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, that it comes from God. Here's how it's described in the Catholic Catechism. With the gift of courage, we overcome our fear and are willing to take risks. A person with courage is willing to stand up for what is right in the sight of God, even if it means accepting rejection, verbal abuse, or even physical harm and death. The gift of courage allows people the firmness of mind that is required both in doing good and for enduring evil. I think that's a great definition. Courage helps us to do good and endure evil. So we'll be talking about that today. Please join me as I begin our time together with prayer. Let's pray. Great and loving God, we ask your Holy Spirit to bless our time together and to refresh us with your presence. In the midst of a world full of trouble and strife, we thank you for watching over us, guiding us, and as we confess our sins, for forgiving us. Enable us to enter your presence today joyfully and reverently, and let us depart with the assurance that our sins are forgiven. Fill us, O oh God, with the peace that passes all understanding. We pray in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Let's begin, as we always do, by singing Praise God from Whom All Blessings Flow, the doxology. The words will come up on the screen. We'll sing this through twice together. Let's begin our worship. Things flow, praise him all creatures here below, praise him above ye heavenly host, praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, praise God from whom all blessings flow, praise him here below, praise him above ye heavenly host, praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. And now let us affirm our statement of faith by reciting Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, 
I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Wow, just reading that gives me courage, doesn't it? Such a testimony of God's presence with us. Let's sing, Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Here come the words up on the screen. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, Thou hast bought us, Thine we are. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, Thou hast bought us, Thine we are. Early let us seek Thy favor, Early let us do Thy will. Blessed Lord and only Savior, with thy love our bosoms fill. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast loved us, love us still. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast loved us, love us still. And let's follow that with amazing grace, amazing grace. Let's worship together. Here come the words.
Our first scripture reading today is from the Old Testament book of Joshua, Joshua chapter 1. In this chapter, Moses, who had led the people of Israel through the wilderness, and now they are at the edge of the promised land, and Moses has just died. And this is what the Lord says to Joshua. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do to being careful to do according to all the law that Moses my servant commanded them. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Beautiful. Let's sing, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. The words will come up on your screen. Let's sing this beautiful song of assurance, Jesus loves me, this I know. Jesus loves me, this I know. Here come the words. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Our second scripture reading is from the life of Jesus as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10. Jesus said to his disciples, 
Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Mm, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Beautiful. And let's sing such an appropriate song. His eye is on the sparrow, so I know he watches me. Here come the words on the screen for us to worship together. And let's sing Leaning on the Everlasting Arms, great song of promise, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. Here come the words.
right, let's pause our singing for a few moments and talk a little bit more about courage. There's a lot in the Bible about courage, isn't there? As always, be ready to pause the video so you can give yourself a little bit of time to think or talk with someone that you're with, raise some questions and thoughts about courage. So I'll give you some clues as to where to pause the video. So let's think about this, courage. What or who have you seen over the course of your life that you thought was courageous? I want to just start thinking about some examples of courage. So you can pause the video right here and talk about, think about examples that you've seen of courage over the course of your life. Could be in school or at your workplace or in your family, on the world stage. Some examples of courage. Well, we could name a bunch, right? There are the examples of young men and women who volunteer for military service in any country. That takes courage, doesn't it? That takes immense courage. There is the example of spouses that are raising their children alone for whatever reason, a mother or a father, raising their children alone. That takes courage. There is the example of someone who stands up to a bully, right? That, that takes guts in a schoolyard, in politics, anywhere. Standing up to somebody who is pushing other people around and saying that's not right, that takes courage. There's the example, uh, many, many examples from the civil rights era of people who stood up uh, for what was right and for equality and um, equity in the treatment of the races. That took great courage. And women protesting for the right to vote back at the beginning of the 1900s and before that, that took courage, right? Going for, standing up for what was right. Now, does strength equal courage? If you just have a lot of strength or a lot of weapons, does that mean you're brave? Does that mean you have courage? No. It's not what it means. It's courage is something in your character, something in your heart, something that stands up for justice and rightness. Now, if you're courageous, does that mean you have no fear? You can pause for a second if you'd like and talk about this. If you have courage, if you're, if you're acting courageously, does that mean you're not afraid? No. <laughs> courage means you act for the right even though you feel afraid, even in the midst of fear and hardship. That's what courage is. You act bravely despite your fear. Now, why can we be courageous? Is this something we just sort of muster up from our own strength? No, God actually gives us a reason why we can have courage. Let's read that passage again from Joshua chapter 1. God says to Joshua, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That's why we can have courage, because God promises his presence with us. Does that mean everything's going to go well all the time? No. No, it doesn't. But what is the promise? What are we sure of? We're sure that God will be with us. That God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed because God is with you wherever you go. That was God's promise to Joshua and that's God's promise to us today. And in Matthew 10, Jesus builds on that when he says that God knows each person, you, intimately, knows how many hairs are on your head. Fewer than there used to be, right? <laughs> but God knows how many hairs are on your head. That means he knows every detail about you. And his eye is always on you to support you, to be with you, to give you courage. Courage is having that vision. Courage is having the vision to see 
that God is with us and to see where God is leading us. To step forward in faith with him, right? Knowing that the path may be hard, but holding on to God's hand the whole way, every moment. That's what courage is. So let's take a moment to silently pray and reflect on the miracle and blessing of courage because God is with us wherever we go. And that we would be able to step out in faith, in courage, as God leads us. Let's pray together, silently for just a moment. Heavenly Father, thank you that your promise is so sure and that we know from experience that you have never left us nor forsaken us, even in hard circumstances, that you are close and you are giving us what we need to cling to you and to move forward in this hard world with courage. Give us that again today, Lord, we pray. And now let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. I hope those words give you courage today, as do our songs, right? Our songs actually give us courage. Let's sing what a friend we have in Jesus, that closeness of the Lord with us. The words will come up on your screen. Let's sing What a Friend We Have in Jesus together. sing Standing on the Promises. Again, pay attention to the words of courage in this hymn, Standing on the Promises. Here come the words. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let His praises ring. 
glory in the highest I will shout and sing Standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises of God my Savior Standing, standing I'm standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises that cannot fail When the howling storms of doubt and fear assail By the living word of God I shall prevail Standing on the promises of God Standing on the promises Standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises I cannot fall, listening every moment to the Spirit's call, resting in my Savior as my all in Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, on, the promises, standing, standing, on, the promises, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Lovely. Our third reading are just a few quotes on courage from various sources. World War II British Prime Minister and author Winston Churchill said this, Courage is rightly esteemed as the first of human qualities because courage is the quality that guarantees all others. Interesting. The American poet Maya Angelou said something. It's actually a little bit similar to that quote. Courage is the most important of the virtues because without courage, you can't practice any other virtue consistently. You can practice any virtue erratically, but you can't practice any virtue consistently without courage. I love that. It's so good. And then the former South African president, Nelson Mandela, who spent 27 years, imagine that, 27 years in prison for standing up against uh, apartheid, this inequality in his country of South Africa. He said this, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Amen. Let's sing, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Let's worship together this song of great assurance from God. Here come the words on the screen. Wandering from the fold of God, 
He to rescue me from danger interposed his precious blood. Oh, to grace, how great a debtor daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it, prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, O oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Our fourth reading is a story I heard about courage. Heard this on a, a radio program called StoryCorps. This is The Courage of Burnell Cotlin and Lily Cotlin. In August 2005, Hurricane Katrina destroyed most of the city of New Orleans. Nearly 10 years after the storm, the Lower Ninth Ward, the neighborhood that was hit hardest by the hurricane, still did not have a single grocery store. Ninth Ward resident Burnell Cotlin set out to change that. Using money saved while working at fast food restaurants and dollar stores, he bought a dilapidated building on an empty block, and in 2014, he opened the Lower Ninth Ward's first grocery store since the hurricane. I was in a FEMA trailer, which was emergency housing. I was in a FEMA trailer for almost three years, Burnell said. And as I drove around the Ninth Ward, we didn't have no stores, no barber shops, no laundry rooms. You had to catch three buses to get to a store. And I always was taught, if there's a problem, somebody's got to make a move. So I decided to open up a grocery store. I remember when I first bought the building, Everybody thought that I was crazy. His mother agrees. When I peeked in the door before you started working, she said to her son, I thought, this is nothing but junk. How can he make anything out of this? But you were one of my very interesting sons, always jumping into things you had no business doing. <laughs> Burnell said it was hard. It was real, real hard. And those eight-hour days turned into 14 or 15-hour days. But what motivated me most was seeing the people that was walking by with the groceries and seeing them get off the bus with all those bags. That made me work harder. We finally did the ribbon-cutting ceremony, and that day I will never forget. The very first customer cried because she said she never thought the Lower Ninth Ward was coming back after that hurricane. It was a headache back then, but now it's worth it. His mother says, you saw something that I didn't see. She said, I'm glad you took the chance. Isn't that a wonderful story of courage, that vision to see something that needed fixing and to walk into it and saying, this is hard, but seeing it through. I love that story of courage. Let's sing a little bit more. Let's sing Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Let's worship together. Here come the words on the screen. Jordan and what did I 
Thank you again for being here today with me. Now please receive the closing blessing and then we will sing the doxology praise God from whom all blessings flow. We'll sing it through again one time to close. Please receive the closing blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace and courage today. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's sing the doxology together one time to close. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you again. I'm so glad to be with you in this video version of church. Please know that I am praying for you. I love you, miss you, and you are in my heart always. Go in peace this week, and I'll see you again soon. God bless you. Bye-bye. Ye saints of the Lord is laid for your faith in his excellent word. What more can he say than to you he hath said to you who for refuge to Jesus have fled? Fear not, I am with be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and will still give thee aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause thee to stand, upheld by my righteous, omnipotent hand. The soul that on Jesus hath leaned for repose. I will not, I will not desert to his foes. That 